protein. Should you be eating it at night? This is why it could hurt your sleep. Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Masterjohn of chrismasterjohnphd.com, and this is Chris Masterjohn Light, where the name of the game is Details, Shmi Tales. Just tell me what works. And today we're going to talk about should you be eating protein at night? So here's the deal. When you go to sleep, the difference between sleepfulness and wakefulness in your brain is basically two things. In the last episode, I talked about how acetylcholine levels are low except in REM sleep. Well, the second thing that's different is that across the board, in all sleep, all the neurotransmitters that you make from protein are basically shut down to zero. So just like acetylcholine is shut down to zero in deep sleep, the the, uh, neurotransmitters that you make from protein are kaboom, down to zero. Zero might be an exaggeration, but they're very, 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 very low. And that it doesn't necessarily mean that eating protein at night is going to put the protein in there and all of a sudden make you make all those neurotransmitters and keep you awake. But it could increase their levels in the brain and it could make it harder to turn them down. So if you have trouble sleeping at night, I think it's a worthwhile experiment to eat a lower protein meal before bed. There is something else that feeds into this, and that is that one of the key regulators of histamine levels in the brain, which causes wakefulness and alertness, is uh, is a compound called orexin or hypocretin. And this, at least in test tubes in a lab, is increased by protein and decreased by carbohydrate. So if that plays out inside your brain like it does in the lab dish, then that suggests that a higher carb, lower protein meal at night could help your sleep. The other side of the coin is that if you are trying to build muscle, then you really want a high protein meal every four to five hours, and that should carry you through your last meal of the day. So if you don't have sleeping problems and you are trying to build muscle, then I would recommend that you eat a high protein meal for your last meal of the day. But if you are not trying to build muscle or you have sleeping problems and building muscle is not as important as fixing your sleeping problems, then because of your sleeping problems, I do think that eating a lower protein, higher carbohydrate meal for your last meal of the day should be something that you try in order to see if it helps your sleep. This episode is brought to you by Ancestral Supplements Grass-Fed Beef Brain. Our Native American ancestors believed that eating the organs from a healthy animal would support the health of the corresponding organ of the individual. Ancestral Supplements has a nose-to-tail product line of grass-fed liver, organs, bone marrow, brain, and more, all in the convenience of a capsule. For more information or to buy any of their products, go to ancestralsupplements.com. This episode is brought to you by Ample. Ample is a meal in a bottle that takes a total of two minutes to prepare, consume, and clean up. It provides a balance of fat, protein, and carbs, plus all the vitamins and minerals you need in a single meal, all from a blend of natural ingredients. It's available in original, vegan, and keto versions, portioned as either 400 or 600 calories per meal. I'm an advisor to Ample, and I use it to save time when I'm working on major projects on a tight schedule. It keeps my brain going while I power through the day, never letting food prep get in the way of my productivity. Head to amplemeal.com and enter the promo code CHRIS15 at checkout for a 15% discount off your first order. The audio of this episode was enhanced and post-processed by Bob Devodian of Torian Mixing. You can find more of his work at torianonlinemixing.com. For ad-free versions of these episodes with transcripts that you can read and getting early access to the episodes, often weeks or maybe even months ahead of time, you can sign up for the CMJ Masterpass at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash masterpass and use the code LIGHT10 to get 10% lifetime discount. All right, I hope you found this useful. Signing off, this is Chris Masterjohn of chrismasterjohnphd.com. This has been Chris Masterjohn Light, and I will see you in the next episode.